What is up guys, Brian Story here and welcome to your third how to build a web server tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to unbox our motherboard, we're going to prepare our case and we're going to install the motherboard in the case. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, pop this open and talk about what's inside the box. First thing that's inside the box that we see is the manual. The manual will tell you everything that's included in the case. It'll educate you on how everything works. So if you don't understand anything and you're sitting there and you're just, you know, wondering about it, check out the manual. Now inside the manual comes driver, uh, a driver's, uh, the I can't speak right now, a driver DVD. This DVD will have all your Windows drivers, uh, a few other things, but again, it's, it's not probably not going to be too important for what we're doing. Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff aside. We have our IO shield. This little baby goes in the back of the case. It plugs into this slot right here. And as you can see, just by looking at this, it lines up with the motherboard and kind of gives you instruction on what that port is. So here's your USB, here's your USB 3.0, here's a DVI port, here's some more USB ports, because we love USB ports, Ethernet, and our audio and keyboard mouse. So this we're gonna have to install in the case before we even put the motherboard in. So put that there for now. Um, this is an SLI bridge. This will connect two graphic cards. So if you're building some kind of really sick gaming machine, one, please send me a picture, because I love pictures of gaming machines. And two, this is what you're gonna use to hook up your sweet graphic cards. So we're not gonna need this or use it in this particular build, but if you guys wanna see like an example of that, hit me up and let me know. I'll put this aside for now. What else is in here? Serial ATA cables. Guys, this is cool. We have two different colors. Like I've never seen this before where they give you two different colors of these cables. So we have a choice. We can use blue cables or we can use black cables. Who knows what we're gonna use. But anyway, good to know. What else is in here? Multilingual installation guide. So if you speak Spanish and not English, or I don't know what half these other languages are. I'm sure it tells you there's gotta be like, here we go. English, German, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian, Russian, Polish, Turkish, Romanian, Bulgarian, Hungarian, <laughs> Greek, Czech, Serbian, Croatian, and Hebrew. Man, 17 different languages. So if English isn't enough for you, try reading this. Let's see, we got all kinds of screws, which go to something, right? So, looks like we got some case screws and bolts and all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, oops, drop that. Good, 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 good. All right, let's look at our motherboard. Here's our motherboard. Look at this puppy. Nice blue, so I'll probably use the blue cables for it. Um, is there anything else in this box? No. Let the cat play with that. All right, let's take our motherboard out and let's look at everything on the motherboard. Now guys, this is an anti-static bag. And what I recommend is touching your case to discharge yourself because if you have any static electricity on your hand and you touch your motherboard, you could damage it. And that's a problem, obviously. So I touch the case. I usually put this down and I always set the motherboard on top of it. Just kind of, it's a good habit to have if you're building these machines. You don't want to like assemble everything and have it break. Okay, so let us, let's look at what we have here. We have our memory slots. That's what these guys are. Let me just close these pins for now. We have our CPU slot. We have our inputs in the back. We have our PCI Express port the express ports. We know we have PCI Express 3.0, it says so right in the motherboard, right there. And apparently it's ERP ready. I don't really know what that means, but if, if you do, that's good. Um, this is where our cables are gonna plug in. And here's some USB pins, some system fan pins. Here's the CPU fan pin. And if you don't know why that's important, don't worry about it right now. It's important um, when we install this, the CPU, we put the fan on top of it. We gotta know where that is because that's gonna control our fan, keep our CPU nice and cool. Okay, so there's our basic motherboard layout. One thing I didn't mention is we have a four pin for the power right there. And then we have 
our other pins over here for the power. It's kind of like a big strip. I think these are like 32 pins or something. It's ridiculous. So now that we're done talking about the motherboard, let's install the case. Let's prep the case. And uh, we'll start with this IO shield. So IO shields kind of clip in around the side here. And they always clip in from the inside out in the case. So sometimes they give you a problem and be super, super careful because I've cut myself on these before. It's really sharp aluminum. So we're just gonna, first we're gonna line it up with the motherboard. So if you're not sure which side, like if you put it like backwards, like you don't wanna do that. So what I do is I just kind of look at how the motherboard's gonna go on and install it like that way. So obviously the motherboard, well maybe it's not obvious, but the motherboard is gonna clip in like this um, and the reason I know that is because it kind of lines up. These things line up with that hole right there. See? So there's like not any other way to do it. And uh, so that's the way. That's how I'm judging it. So this goes on to here like that. So that's how we're going to install it here. Same way. So let's, let's clip that in real fast. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. Sometimes these things give you a little bit of a hard time, which is why it's so easy to cut yourself on them. But it kind of puts some pressure on the bottom and on the top and try to get one side in at a time. I get that. There we go. Start to clip in. All right, good. So that's clipped in. Let's make sure it's fully clipped in. There were a couple of loose spots in there, so uh, so that's good. Let's put that back down. Keep those over there. Now let's install the motherboard. One interesting thing about this particular case is that it has this like notch thing right here. And this acts like, like a screw is in it. So that will actually hold the motherboard in place. See how that's kind of like, like a, I don't know, like a nipple or something? That's how I describe it. So that'll actually go into one of these holes that are on the motherboard and hold it in place while we screw the motherboard in, in, the, in there. Um, most cases don't actually have that feature, so I'm really surprised it does. But if it doesn't have that feature, don't worry about it. Just kind of hold it in place and, and bolt it down. So uh, how you get this in is, I, I do like a swooping action. So I try to line up the back, the, the IO shield. And then pop it in there. So we have that nipple, the nipple clips the motherboard down. Really, really nice feature for a motherboard. I'm very, very impressed. Okay, so the motherboard is put into place. Now we're gonna grab our one tool that we're gonna use for this entire build. And I already pulled out some of the screws for this, but uh, in case you're wondering what kind of screws you use, it will say in the guide, but in this particular one, it uses this one that looks like you could bolt it, bolt it in. Real short screw, kind of has some notches on the bottom of it. It's not round, I mean, it's obviously round, but it's not like the really round ones. It's the one that looks like you could use a wrench on it. So, we're just gonna screw these in. And uh, what's really important when you're screwing these in, guys, do not, I repeat, do not over-tighten these. You know, if you just uh, put them down until it won't go any further, like, kind of like, if you were to hand-tighten them, kind of deal. And we'll just install those. Now one of the things that I notice is there's actually not a screw hole here. Like there's, there, I mean there's a screw hole but there's nothing to grab it here and that's alright. Like you don't have to have this motherboard bolted down here so intensely unless you live on an airplane or something. 
But, uh, and one more thing I want to point out is you won't screw anything near the processor. That's where the, the heat sink is going to clip into for the processor. We're going to discuss that in a separate video though. So now our motherboard is strapped down to our case. We're good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to me and watch the next video. Peace.